there is a word from 2 Timothy, the fourth chapter and the ninth verse. I may speak about some of the other verses, but I just want to read the ninth. And I want to match that up with Revelation 22 and 20. These two verses will give us the sermon background idea. 2 Timothy 4 and 9, Revelation 22 and 20. Do your best to come to me quickly. Do your best to come before winter. Revelation 20, 22. Message Bible, I'm on my way. I'll be there soon. A call for backup. If you are familiar with law enforcement, you might understand what I'm driving at when I say a call for backup. Uh, that's a time when those who are doing their job might run into a situation and it requires extra help. So they go on and even though they are able to handle it probably single-handedly, it makes sense to have some help, to have some backup. And in the military community, a unit can be dealing with some things, and you notice that you need another kind of uh, support. So you're on the ground, but you know there's something going on around the corner and over the hill, so you call in for air support. It's a call for backup. And just because you can handle it doesn't mean you don't need to have some backup in place. You know, the winter time is on its way, and hopefully all of us are prepared for the winter. If you're prepared for the winter, you're ready for it, but you might need to be able to know who to call for backup during the winter. I noticed as I was backing out of my driveway on my way to church, I was asking the Lord, you know, I need some kind of example to preach. I'm, my mind is uh, spent on yesterday, and I'm thinking about Monday, and I got to preach today. I need a little help. I, I, I'm looking for a backup. And as I backed up, I saw an ant bed, an ant mound, all in the grass, raised up high. But I didn't see any ants. And no, normally I'd hear crickets making sounds. On the golf course, there's a, a pond. I can look down at it. And usually you can hear the crickets making noise, but I didn't hear any sound. And uh, word came to me that you don't see any ants because they are ready for the winter. I don't know what the crickets are doing. But the ants are down in their beds. They don't need to be running around because during the summertime, you understand. They went out and gathered all of the crumbs and all of the things they needed and put it way down in the ground. And they don't need to be scrambling around at all because they have what they need for the winter. And that made me ask, I wonder how prepared we are for the winter of 2022. We have to do some things to get ready for the winter. You know, I have to say this. I, I, I use this as an example. Uh, about four generations ago, most of our people were not city residents. Remember, y'all were here the whole time? Good. But I'm talking about those who were not living in the city. And uh, though I lived in Thunderbolt, Georgia, and Savannah, Georgia, I remember when my grandmother lived in Louisville, Georgia. Mm -hmm. 
And, and my other grandmother lived in Mineola, Georgia. So I have a little frame of reference for what I am driving at. Uh, on uh, the farm, I believe they act more like ants than grasshoppers. What am I saying? During the right season, some hay was stored for the animals. And I drive along now and see all these big old rounded brown things. I said, that's hay. Somebody prepared for the winter so they can feed the animals. And then the matriarchs of the family, the mothers, grandmothers four generations ago, stored fruit. And they made preserves. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, y'all come on. Uh, stored vegetables in glass mason jars. Uh, meats, meat, meat was smoked and salted to last a long time to carry them through the months ahead. And the last time I was in Valdosta, my, my uncle, I told y'all about that, he was prepared for the winter. He gave me some deer meat sausage. <laughs> and I still have it in my freezer. It's going to be a mighty long day when I decide to eat deer meat sausage. But he was uh, preparing for uh, the winter. And then some people stockpile firewood. Well, Y'all might as well say amen. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And they, they had firewood to keep the fires going during the frigid time of the cold. And that leads me to say to, to keep the fires going is a key part of uh, their survival. And to keep the fires burning is a key part of our survival. Without the fires burning, many of us would get frostbite. Without the fires burning, many would develop uh, unhealthy illnesses all because uh, they couldn't get warm. And I got to say, coming by the church is like having a fire burning. You can be out of the cold world having to deal with all kind of harsh things. But when you come to church, you want to feel the fire of the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Love is a fire. Caring is a fire. Genuine concern is a fire. And if I don't feel the fire anywhere else when I come to church, excuse me, when I come to church, excuse me again, when I come to the ecclesiastical place where we worship in the sanctuary of the Lord. I want to feel the fire that burns away the chill that I have in a cold and uncaring world. So we got to make sure that we do what we can to keep the fire burning so that we can be warmed up by the fellowship of being among other people who believe in the Lord. Got to keep the fire burning uh, because when we are steel, meeting steel, we can sharpen each other up by our good comments and our great conversation. Got to be able to keep hope alive. And uh, you got to be able to throw the log uh, on the fire every time we meet. Throw a log of hope. So that we can have hope that we will still be able to handle things. Yeah. Throw a log of faith. Yeah. And uh, make sure we have faith so we can keep our dreams alive right. during uh, the winter. Yeah. The single verse of emphasis read shows the attitude Paul had concerning a moment. Right. When preparing for his winter experience was a top priority. Yeah. Notice that Paul wrote to Timothy yeah. urging him to come to his assistance before winter. Yeah. 
do thy diligence to come before winter, says the King James Version. The NIV says, do your best to get here before winter. You know, over the course of the years, Paul and Timothy established a special bond. And that special bond was deeper than any surface association. And uh, there's a time when you got to be able to rally those around you that you have a special bond that's beyond a surface kind of relationship. Or when the winter time comes, you got to have the right kind of support. When the winter time comes, you got to be able to separate yourself away from those who don't have your best interests in mind, and you got to be able to call for backup for those, from those who know how to make all of the difference in the world. You know, Paul, uh, you know, had some troubles on the horizon. He had some encouragers who were disappearing. He had some supporters who were deserting him. And in some of the verses that I did not read, read he said, uh, no, he only had Luke with him. But uh, Timothy, when you come, make sure that you get Mark and bring him along uh, with you. Some of the others who are with me, have left me here, and I'm still holding on uh, to the faith. I'm still preaching the gospel, but I'm beginning to do it all by myself. Yeah. And sometimes when you're all by yourself, that becomes a winter. Come on. Yeah. When you got to handle some things all by yourself, that becomes your winter. Yeah. Maybe during December of this year, you got a different kind of wear. Maybe there's some things that didn't happen last December, but this December, there's another kind of cold. And uh, I don't know how prepared you are for the winter, but you know you got to be able to know how to call back up. You know, the Lord was going to stand by Paul, but he wanted to be surrounded by somebody that he had a real relationship with. And I want to say to you that you can be back up for somebody. I can be back up for somebody else. If we got a strong relationship, if it's deeper than uh, uh, water, if it's stronger than oil, if it's deeper than anything you know, when it's time for the right kind of support, that's the time when you call for back up. Got to be able to make sure we say, do your best to come to me soon. But then, as I hasten to my seat, because this is the Advent season, I'm thinking about one that is beyond Timothy. And I want to ask that the Spirit of the Lord come and be with me during the winter of 2022. Yes. Make sure that you come uh, and be with me because I need you like I've never needed you before. Oh, I'm uh, big and bad. Uh, I can handle things pretty good. But I know that there might be some things uh, that my preparations uh, might not be able to help me to deal with it all by myself. You know, you got to know when to call for backup. I don't know about you, uh, but I want to call for backup. When I call the Lord, uh, sometimes he shows up uh, through other people, and then he shows up uh, through angels that, that he sends uh, all around uh, all night uh, and all day. Uh, angels watch over me. Uh, yes, they do, my Lord. Uh, all night uh, and all day. Uh, angels uh, watch over you. Uh, did you call for backup? Uh, I'm glad you did. Uh, the Lord says I'm on my way. Uh, and in Revelations, uh, I don't know how he's coming to you, uh, but he says I'm on my way. Uh, I'll be there quickly. He might show up uh, in a dream, uh, but he's on his way. Uh, he might show up uh, in an understanding uh, over something you couldn't make any sense out of uh, any time before. He's on his 
his way of his showing you of that Advent uh, wasn't just a historical thing. Uh, we can still look for him uh, to come to us today. Why? Because he gave us uh, his son uh, for unto you uh, thousands of years ago. A child is born uh, and a son is given uh, and the weight of his government uh, will be on his shoulder and it's still on his shoulder to make things better for us uh, even now. And his name will be called Wonderful uh, and Counselor, uh, Mighty God, uh, Everlasting Father, and of his kingdom uh, there will be no end. Uh, I tell you, I will bless the Lord uh, because he gives me counsel. I will bless the Lord because he shows up right on time. I'm calling for backup. The devil thinks he got me surrounded, but I'm not worried because I got air support. I'm not worried because I got ground support. I'm not worried because the cavalry is on the way. The Lord is all right. He's back up. Get you ready for the winner. I know he's all right. Hey, gives you power when you don't think you got no more power. He's all right. Hey, 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 hey. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. Back up is on the way to make sure you can handle the winter of 2022. God's blessing be upon you. The invitation is extended. Anyone like to unite with this church today by the familiar ways you unite with a Baptist church, we certainly invite you to come on this day. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your presence and your ability to meet us during any mile of our journey, during any year, during any season, and especially during the Advent season. We certainly look to you for your presence, for the ways in which you will bless and accompany us and attend to our needs. We certainly give you the praise and the honor. And as we approach this time when we commune with you, and we certainly ask that you commune with us. We ask that you cause us to have the right mind and the right attitude that we can go on and use our talents and gifts for the upbuilding of your kingdom. Let it be now, Lord, that the elements be changed from their everyday and common usage. Enable them to have a spiritual significance for us as they actually represent the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We will forever give you the praise and the honor. We pray and ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much. You may be seated. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and give you peace. The Lord bless your going out and your coming in and give you patience while you wait for backup to arrive. Be with us now and forevermore. We pray and ask it in Jesus' name. Amen Amen. and amen. 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 Don't worry. Back up. up. It's sure enough. enough. On the way. On the way.